Yesterday, you calculated the amount of time it took for 10 vibrations to occur. And you did that for one of two frequencies. You either did it for a minimum frequency, let's listen to that, or you did it for a maximum frequency, let's listen to that. You then used proportional reasoning to determine the exact frequency in hertz for the minimum tone, the minimum frequency tone, or the maximum frequency tone. You experimentally determined the frequency. Today, we are providing you with the actual frequency. So the minimum frequency tone is 220 hertz, and the maximum frequency tone is 440. You will continue to use proportional reasoning to calculate the exact time for 10 vibrations at 20, sorry, 220 hertz, and the exact time in milliseconds for 10 vibrations if the frequency is 440 hertz. Then you will do a little error analysis. You will compare your experimentally derived frequency value to the actual value and determine uh, what could be done to get those two values closer together. So how can we improve our experimentation? And of course, your programming knowledge in MakeCode allows you to really explore the idea of frequency and notes even more. So we can listen to them and then we can analyze them on a keyboard. And of course, there's other pins in here, but this, these two will give you a good idea how to analyze the frequency for the musical notes, low A and middle A.